Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel, in this video, I will show you the easy and clear steps on how to display the marketplace menu in the Spotify application. So how to display the marketplace menu in the Spotify application? Make sure you keep watching this video until the end. Let's get started right away. Firstly, please enter the Spotify application on your computer. Well, here it is already on the main Spotify display. We can see here that there is no marketplace menu display. We cannot buy or change the theme. How to? We enter the browser on our computer. Types by Setify in the search. Well, taps by Setify. Well, here a display like this appears. Select Install Now. Well, it will enter a selection menu like this. Well, here we adjust our laptop OS. Here I use Windows. In the Windows section, there are two codes. Copy the first code. And then enter the Windows PowerShell. Well, here a display like this will appear. Paste the code and tap Enter. Well, here we wait for the download process. Well, it's finished. Then go back to the browser. Copy the second code. Then enter the Windows PowerShell. Well, here will appear a display like this. Paste the code and tap Enter. Well, here it's done. Back to the Spotify application. Well, here in the upper left, the Market Pulse menu icon has appeared. We can tap. Here there are several options in the marketplace. Extensions extend functionality with third-party integrations such as Trello or Google Drive, and add productivity tools such as instant translators. Themes allow users to customize the appearance of Skype, including dark mode or interface colors. Snippets help share frequently used pieces of text or code, making communication or collaboration easier. Apps provide additional tools such as polls, games, or business application integrations. Install displays extensions, themes, snippets, or applications that have been installed. So that's it. Tutorial how to display the marketplace menu in the Spotify application. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you in the next video.